I get um, a runny nose and watery eyes and I sneeze sometimes in the summer between May and September. So I think I have hay fever and I think I might be allergic to grass pollen. So we're going to test that out now. It's very important that these tests are only carried out by a doctor or a qualified clinician. What we'll do to start off with is put a blob of what we call negative control. So this is just some salty water that we're going to place on your arm, followed by some histamine, which as Fiona mentioned earlier, is the reactive compound that hopefully will cause a reaction that everyone will have a reaction with regardless of whether they're allergic or not. And finally, we'll put some grass pollen in and we'll see that if Fiona is allergic to grass pollen, she'll also be responding to this. Next what we'll do is we'll, we'll deliver just a very small prick into the skin um, to expose the liquid that we can see into the top surfaces of the skin. Um, and the mast cells that are there will subsequently respond to this. Okay, so we'll start with the salty water. Then we'll move on to the histamine. And then the final skin prick that we'll do is with the grass pollen, which, if she's allergic, hopefully we'll see a reaction in the skin too. Now we have to wait 15 to 20 minutes before we read this. I'll just mop this up. So it's been 15 minutes now. We're going to read the, the reaction on Fiona's arm. As you can see, the first skin prick that we had was the normal saline, salty water, which hasn't caused any kind of response. The second reaction is histamine, which would cause a response in everyone. And the final reaction is with grass pollen, which we're suspecting Fiona to have had a response with. And as you can see with this ruler, she's got four, a four millimeter response of the wheel, which means that you do have grass pollen um, allergy, which is in keeping with all the symptoms you were talking about. Right. Great. Thank you.